Vikings. Let's go on over to the NFC. We'll start off with the NFC West here. And uh, again, there's a glaring. That can't be correct. That is that can't correct. Be correct. You you gave them. I, I this is this is definitely correct. I I didn't mess this one up. Uh, the only one I messed up was the <laughs> AFC West. So you gave the Arizona Cardinals a B. Uh, yeah, and you, you did. You did. And Andrew, I don't know how you else. did this. I don't okay. know how you did this, especially in the NFC when most NFC teams did nothing. Most NFC yeah. teams have literally done nothing, yep. and it's reflected in the Arizona. So. I do know that one big thing I really enjoyed for the Arizona Cardinals, I think the signing of Will Hernandez was big. Uh, I think that's the type of guy that they need on that type of offensive line. I'm a, I'm still a big fan of Zach Ertz. I know a lot of people have soured on him. He had the one down year in Philly, but Philly was a train wreck at that point in time, too. It was hard for damn near anyone to, to uh, succeed. And and then James Conner showed back up, too. I would have loved for them to have kept Chase Edmonds, uh, which would have been higher, but like – I think they did some good things, but I remember giving the B on the fact that they lost Chandler Jones, um, and that that's a big that's a big thing for me. I don't think it's as low as a D, but I don't think I also meant to go with a B. I don't think it's they low didn't as get as better. What, what I, I feel they, like yeah, we, we saw them struggle last year, and they didn't get better. They lost Jordan Hicks, they lost Chase Edmonds, they lost Chandler Jones, they lost Christian Kirk, they lost AJ Green, and they re-signed James Conner, which is great. But we've seen him have trouble being an every down back all by himself for the course of the season. Yep. And, um, and you mentioned Will Hernandez. Yeah, that's some good offensive line depth, but they didn't get better. Now they have a void at receiver. They have a void on the defensive side of the football. They did don't they have, have any defensive backs. Did, like did, AJ, did that move? Did did their did their uh, free agency and their moves this offseason push them ahead of San Francisco? No, I wouldn't say that. Did it push them ahead so, of of the of the Rams? Well, the Rams are on their own. That's what I'm saying. Did it? Oh, did, did honestly? Uh, uh, let me let me just take a gander back at your grades here. I think you, they're worse this year than they were last year. So if, if if Seattle has a better grade than Arizona here, where where is your line here now with Seattle and Arizona? Well, I don't think that. I don't think that. I'm just saying that makes them a better team. I just think that the Seattle Seahawks did a lot more. In they, I, I, I forget they have. Drew Vinny's Lock, reaching. Drew Lock, Vinny's Drew reaching Lock. now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Like, no, just what, what Seattle did in free agency is more than what Arizona did. I mean, getting those picks alone, adding a Noah Fanton talent, adding uh keeping Rashad Penny, keeping Quandre Diggs was huge for me. I thought I thought it was a foregone conclusion he'd be gone. Uh so to have him and Jamal Adams still back there where you don't have to focus on some leaders on the defense now that Bobby Wagner's gone. Uh, I think that was kind of huge. With the with the Cardinals, I mean, I could go lower. I, I don't think I would go as far as a D, but I could go lower. And, and you guys make some good points. They did not get better, uh, but I didn't see them getting better in the first place. And I think a lot of the big deal is they had a, they have so many issues going on in their front office right now. I don't know if their eye was completely on the ball in this free agency period, trying to work things out with Kyler and Cliff and making sure and that, that they're on the right track for this season. Coming and, and, up. and that's why they get a D because I don't like, I don't, I don't take it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't count. I don't count in office discussions between players as free well, agency. No, no. <laughs> but what I do, what I do count for is them not getting any better. And if they don't get any better, they get a D. I don't give a shit what the excuse is. They didn't get better. I mean, that's, 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 that's what it is. I mean, that's, that's plain and simple for, for the, uh, right. for, for the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, everywhere else, the, the Niners get a C across the board. Uh, Aaron, you gave the Rams a B a, or a C plus. What, uh, you didn't like their off season. I mean, they didn't, do anything they signed Allen robinson that's true they, 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 they lost did. robert woods they lost odell beckham they lost von miller they lost sony michelle they lost darius williams they lost austin corbett they lost sebastian joseph day they lost johnny hecker and andrew whitworth retired they didn't did, get did better. obj and sony michelle sign somewhere else no they're free agents though yeah so they don't have them they can uh, they don't back. have they're not on the Rams roster. They don't you don't get to claim somebody that's not on your roster. <laughs> I feel like I feel, oh, you know what? I hey, like put Bobby Wagner there. on Dallas. I'm gonna claim Wagner. He's not that's signed. It, goes. it only Wagner. works if they were previously with the team. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> no the dead period. They actually, after the draft. Sign, after the draft. But, but they have to sign those guys. I get you. In order after to the right draft, now they have to imagine. I would imagine after the draft, you're gonna see Sony Michelle back in LA. And I would imagine OBJ. Eh, OBJ is a questionable one. I don't think. I don't think Sony's ACL back. Tear. I don't think Sony's back. I think that's the only one. I, I, I OBJ. I can see. I can't see uh, 
Sony. I mean, Michelle. they don't really need to sign Sony Michelle. Back, yeah, right? they don't. Daryl Henderson and Cam Akers, but they only got eight million in cap space, so so they don't have a ton of flexibility. Yeah. Like it's it, to say they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Everybody thought Bobby Wagner was going to go to Dallas, and now Dallas is out on Bobby Wagner. So. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, they might not be out though. Remember, Cleveland said they were out on Deshaun Watson. I know then, that's what then, I'm saying. Like, it, we don't know, but as of right now, the Rams haven't done anything to for me to say that they've really improved. Getting Allen Robinson is a nice piece, but they lost way more than that. So, 